Strangers rank their intelligence. Well, this is going to be really awkward, but it's going to be very interesting. Let's check it out. I wasn't planning to go to college. That wasn't like a goal of mine. My parents were like, well, you should apply to at least one college. And I was like, we'll never get in here. And then I went to Yale. Whoa. That was just like a nothing. You know, I didn't think I'd get in, but then I did. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six people who's going to judge each other on basically who looks the smartest out of all of them. That definitely is not a recipe for disaster. Oh, they're taking an IQ test. Should we just like go down and do intros? I think intelligence is very... Um, Hard to quantify, like even IQ tests, is, it's, it's hard to quantify them. Yeah, I'm Shade, I'm 24. I work in finance, I have a bachelor's degree. I uh, went to Yale. I'm Tyler. Look at that, going to Yale. Yeah, let's start off with saying how old we are and where we went to school and how, you know, kind of smart I am by going to the top tire schools. The Ivy League schools. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate, and I work in the Marine Corps. I'm. Oh, okay. So he's does he has not gone to college, but he doesn't say if he chose not to go to college or he just never got into college, or whether it's just just his choice to just go to the Marine instead of actually going to college. Really? Um, I'm 25. I'm a software developer. I went to Ohio hey. University. Hey. I have a bachelor's degree. Maria, I'm 30 years old. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. Well, she's very smart. PhD in cancer biology and yeah. biotech. In school, I went to University of South Carolina and undergrad, I went to University of Florida. Hi, everybody. My name is Sean. I'm 27. I'm the director of social media for a company and I also work for a digital ad agency. I got a double major in dance and cultural economics. Major in dance. I've seen him in a couple of Jubilee videos as well as BuzzFeed video. Um, but hey, Major in dance. I also used to major in dance. Uh, yeah, that was a questionable decision on my part. Apology. Undergrad, I went to the Loyola Marymount University. Hi, everybody. I'm Ray. I'm 24. I graduated with a bachelor's degree from Harvard recently, and I work in consulting. Okay. But he didn't say consulting in what area, like... Or I Thomas. graduated with a bachelor's degree from Harvard recently, and I work in consulting. Consulting and what, I guess. But let's just say it. Let's just say it. We all know where we're thinking we're going to put the Asian, that guy on the left, this guy on the left, first. And then let's see how, how that goes. I guess I guess we should just try and rank it and see how that goes. Well, first, it will be him. Um, I think the Marine, for me, would be second because going to the Army going to the Marine, you know, you learn things that may be very important and very um, useful in life. And just because he didn't go to college doesn't mean that, you know, he's not intelligent, I guess. He never said if he chose not to go to college or if he never got into college. So that would be my second one. Um, third, it's kind of hard because she has a, a PhD, but... Book smart is, you know, different from the other types of smart, like um, street smarts and emotional intelligence, too. I would say first is Asian, of course. Second is, I would say, the Marine. Third would be... I would probably put her, the blonde girl. And then fifth would be... The lady in the all the way to the right, and then the last would be the second to the last guy in the very bright, colorful outfit. Babies. Oh. I know what the fuck's thing is age oh. factor. Sunset yeah, it gives you like years of experience. Yeah, well, I guess um, we need a maybe it's good to identify what intelligence means to everybody. I think intelligence is better defined as your adaptability and your problem solving skills more than it is your education. Obviously, like the education, the stuff you've been through puts a lot into playing it because it gives you more resources, more thoughts to draw from. 
he talks so much like somebody who went to the military. It's like very robotic and matter of factly. Um, like it's hard the way that he he talks. It's almost hard to tell whether he's actually BSing it or not. You know, like he's very robotic in the way that he talks, which is very, very interesting. Formal education definitely helps, but I don't think it's in any way essential. So what is the most essential? So the most essential thing was to probably be common sense. Yeah, so for me personally, I think intelligence is both EQ, IQ, and that common sense, street smart intelligence, all of that combined. People consciously or unconsciously, when they see someone, form an opinion immediately. Like, I'm sure we all did right away. When I saw you, I told myself, Maria, do not judge him just yeah. by his looks. He could be throwing you off, or that's just who he is, but he can talk the talk and walk the walk. Sean, I didn't want to judge him based on the way he looks or dresses or acts, so I was like, I think he's intelligent. First impressions, I would put him at the bottom only because <laughs> I was in all the other people with like the bright neon colors and stuff, they were typically the ones doing the worst in classes. I like this dude. He's just like not afraid to say it. He's just like, this is what I've been seeing, this is what I experienced, and this is what I'm gonna do. And it's like he's not afraid to say it. I liked it. If I like that. Confidence, I definitely put Sean at very first place. So what is the definition that we're going with is the biggest question. I like your definition. I know, I was gonna say, I like my definition. <laughs> yeah. It combines it. The only gave, I think she was the only one that gave a definition. I don't know if anybody else gave a definition of intelligence. Okay. Unless they cut any, like, it out. Can you be honest? <laughs> on that side. I really want to know what he, what the dude all the way to the left, the Asian dude, what he's consulting in. I guess it's so vague. It's it's hard to, it's, you know. I'm done going first. <laughs> I feel like I have a good combination of both, like book smart and street smart. So yeah, I think I have some input on that. There's so many aspects to intelligence. It really goes beyond IQ and EQ. Even those two different factors really don't really capture what it really means to be intelligent. I know I'm not. He's very soft-spoken and well-spoken and he's also very quiet. He's almost like the observant type in this group. Um, he's just there, you know, He, whenever he needs to say something, then he needs to say something. But he just like kind of lays low. No, from Yale, I don't have a PhD. But what I lack in those areas, I'm able to still problem solve and use my own skill set, my emotional intelligence, as well as my social intelligence. Besides my education and background, I feel like I have high like emotional intelligence, like I'm aware of my surroundings. As a software... Emotional s intelligence, does that mean? I thought emotional intelligence is being able to, when you're talking to somebody, able to respond appropriately and it, and perceive, you know, what they're feeling and not exactly your environment. For developer, my problem solving skills are obviously top notch, I think I would say. My whole life I've kind of had to fight to be seen as intelligent. I think I'm so used to having to do that as a woman to just like step up and be like, you know, I deserve to be here. My first job out of college, I was working at a law firm. A gentleman came up to me and said, Hi, um, you don't look like somebody that would work at a law firm. You look like somebody I'd go on spring break with. And I'm like, what? I'm like, Obviously, out of it. Damn. She, sat, she actually works in a law firm, software developer. Damn. Everyone here. I've got the least formal education. I consider myself intelligent. My mental dedication and my ability to adapt and to problem solve. What I do in the Marine Corps, I'm a seabird defense specialist. So I think that by virtue of what I do, that already requires some amount of intelligence. Sorry, quick question. This, this, this dude, I just like the way he talks. It's just very robotic and just like matter of factly, like this is what I am, this is what I do. And I think I'm intelligent because of that. It's just like, you can tell he, you know, he goes to the military. So do you think that only certain people can do your job, or do you think anyone can do your job? Only certain people. Uh, you have to take the ASVAB before you go into the military. That's uh, not really how much you know, but how well you can learn information. And I got a 94 on that. It's not an amount of how much you study, how much you know. You're not going to really get better at learning. He gives a really good answer. It's like it's... it's they're all like questioning him because he hasn't had any formal education, but the way that he answers makes him sound really smart and very articulate too. I strongly disagree with you don't get better at learning. The idea that you can get better at learning is a pretty big signifier of intelligence. 
I'm very much dyslexic. I have ADHD. Oh. On the autism spectrum. They just, Jubilee just threw in a, a wild card. She has like, what was it? Dyslexia? I'm very much dyslexic. I have ADHD <sighs> and I'm on the autism spectrum. Dyslexia means that there's a big gap in comprehension. So I was scoring 99th percentile in certain areas and like third percentile in others. I'll never be able to learn another language. I took Spanish for 12 years and I can still basically only order a burrito. So I have a question. Hmm. Why did you go to Yale and why did you go to Harvard? My oh, she just went at it. My parents are immigrants from China. And I'm a first generation immigrant as well and college student as well. My family always really stressed the importance of formal education. For me, that was something that I really strive for. I wasn't Usually, you know, in my opinion, I always think of the people who are more soft-spoken and not allowed as to be more, I guess, I'm not sure if it's more intelligent, but more mature. Um, and in this case, he's very much, you know, observant and quiet in this, this video. He only spoke maybe like a couple times compared to the I other to people. I didn't, that wasn't like a goal of mine. My parents were like, well, you should apply to at least one college. And I was like, I'll never get in here. And then I went to Yale. Oh, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, I only applied to one and I got into it. <laughs> why don't you guys rank? Go seven, get it, girl. Six, including yourself, and give reasons why you want to do what you're doing. You got to go one. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got one for Asian. Two, there we go. Three, <laughs> four, five. I'm just, it's just interesting that she rated herself lower. I, w I would expect, you know, the kind of people that Jubilee looks for, they would all rank themselves as higher, at least, you know, the most out of everybody else. I would rank you as a six, not meaning that you're not intelligent. I also think that I don't place a lot of value on the military. <laughs> Period. No, that, yeah, full stop, full stop. <laughs> I'd probably do one, two, three, Oh, or same thing for him. He also rated himself not as... Well, it's a safe bet to rank yourself in the middle as a third one, you know? If you rank yourself high as number one, people would be like, oh, you're too self-centered, self, you know, too arrogant that you put yourself at number one. But then if you put yourself at the least, they'd be like, oh, you're trying to make yourself look like, oh, you know, super humble. And either way, you're going to go wrong with ranking yourself a little too high or a little too low. So the safe bet is to rank yourself in the middle, which is the third one. Five, six. I'm sorry. I'm the villain this oh, episode. Oh, wow. Does anyone think they're... Wow, wow. They're just like... Like, right at the military, dude. Just like... So like I, end the I'd say I'm one, if nothing else, because I know what I'm about. There you go. Hey, he knows what he's about. He has that confidence. He's just like, I know what I... I really like that, dude. Everyone too. That is so unfair. <laughs> no, no, no. He just like stop there. That's it. I no need no need for anything else. I'm number one. Boom. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. I think okay. one, two. There's a pattern. Three, four, five, six. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. oh the third vote for him was the last of so the sixth hard. one. For me to look past the education part, going to college, I think you learn a lot, if nothing else, emotionally. But I still think you're smart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, going to college, I think they really give importance, at least this group of people, they give importance to a lot of um, college education. And, you know, it's, it's different from it's book smart because it's just hard. It's like if they take an IQ test, Obviously, if you've trained multiple times, or if you've taken IQ tests multiple times, you'll eventually get better at it. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, another vote Even for him. Parents, Fourth. First generation going to college, humble, modest. Two, me. Yeah, it's pretty much the summary of what he he is. You know, um, oppression. I don't know. PhD, cancer biologist, <laughs> scientist, I work in a biotech company, we make COVID-19 testing kits, oh. stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay, he just went all, she just went all in and like, oh, I don't know, I just got a this degree, this degree, and I'm helping with COVID. And, biology, scientist, oh, I work girl. in a biotech company, we make COVID-19 tests. It would be so interesting if the plot twist was that she was one of the lower ones. That would be very much 
um, a rude awakening, I guess. Oh. Stuff like that. Oh. And then six. It has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. Tyler, he ranked last for me personally because I think he, she's getting that vibe of a lower EQ, just the way that he's talking. It's just very robotic, I guess. The way he carries himself. He was ranking intelligence based on his point of view and not taking in other people's point of views and compiling results. But really just came down to his body language, his demeanor, the way he carried himself, the way he acted towards the group. I would put one, two, three, okay. four, five, and out. Oh, she, he, he, he's the one, he's the only one in this group that ranked himself low, the lowest. Which I think she's, he's, um, he's very much aware that everybody else is, here has, you know, a, a formal education or like a higher degree going to better schools, which I think affects the way that he, you know, ranks people So too. the reason why I put you at number one is I think you have the highest, not only EQ score out of everybody, but the way you present yourself, as well as being a PhD student, I think is just like a huge thing. When I put my the way you present yourself is more of a confidence thing, not really an intelligence self thing. Because I feel like I might be the weakest in terms of actual IQ score. Hopefully, I can make it up in everything else. So I did put myself as least intelligent. However, if it can't be me, I definitely think Tyler, unfortunately, his way of thinking is linear and i think intelligence is almost like a sphere it's a picture and right now he's only coloring with one color than you know with the rainbow that's a very good explanation of something that's so abstract like intelligence that he just like articulated very well in explaining how intelligence is not a linear thing who got the most number ones the Asian, my man, Asian, go to the front. Of course, there's going to be some sort of, you know, stereotype and, like, bias that's, that's unconsciously there. Is it down? Who got the most? Sean Lee was pretty up there, too. I feel like you were definitely. He's just, she's just like, I'm ready. Let me go there. Let me go to the second place. Yeah, I'm in between Harvard and Yale. Wait, I think, well, I forgot what my ranking is. I think it was one, two. One is the Asian dude. On th the very right, two is the military. Three is the PhD girl in black. Fourth is the blonde girl. And then fifth is the, we went to Yale. And then the sixth would be the one in the col colorful outfit. I think that I sort of expected to be ranked a little bit lower at first glance and first interaction with me. It's hard to tell how intelligent I am. It's hard to tell how anybody is. Is anyone upset with where they're standing? I think it makes sense that I'm down here. Like the guy who graduated from high school and then joined the military, he probably wouldn't be like high up on there. If I I'm not gonna lie, I used to think that people who go to the military um, and just finished high school and sh went straight to the military are people who you know, I had the same idea too, like they're not smart, they just don't know what they're going to do with life, um, and, you know, it's their way of, of, almost like their last resort. It's like, okay, well, I, there's no way I can go to college, or like, I'm not going to get into college. The other resort is to go into the military and then get, you know, paid there. I used to think that way, but now I've actually turned it uh, 180 degrees and think that going to the military is a pretty good idea um, not only that the, um, not only because you know you get some benefits with it too but you also learn skills that are very much important and can come in handy if I was in their shoes I definitely would have also ranked myself among the lowest I do feel like there might be a prejudice acting in terms of ranking you thank you finally somebody who actually said that because Obviously, with any of these ranking and judging people, there's going to be some sort of stereotype and prejudice okay, going on. Highly, oh. but I, I agree with the ranking. I think you probably are the most intelligent out of all of us. I would. That doesn't mean that it's a bad or good thing. It's just like some things are unconscious, and there's a reason why we have them. Feel weird placing you there and not acknowledging the dynamics in which we did so. Okay, we got the rank. 
Oh, they're taking an IQ test online. I wonder what IQ test they're taking. I kind of want to take it too and see where I fall. They should make it... I don't know if it's going to be a variable that two of them are taking it on their phone versus a laptop. And then they don't even have a desk to like put their laptops on. Hearing that I had to take an IQ test was definitely hard to hear. Quantifying things for me in that realm is really hard because it gives you something really solid. Even if you don't buy into IQ tests, it still gives you a number at the end of the day, which is something you have to grapple with. I literally thought when you said to open the computer or we're gonna look at social media, I didn't think an IQ test would be part of it. It was kind of expected. I think she was dreading the way that she said that. She was dreading like, um, that she might not end up ha ranking higher from the test and then she, you know, based on her conversations a while ago, that might bite her back. Hopefully not, but who knows, We're being Let's ranked see. by intelligence, you know, an IQ test, it's not that far off the realm of possibility. So number one is Raymond, number two would be... Okay, Raymond, I think is the Asian Haley. dude, okay. Number three will oh. be Tyler. Number two is the blonde lady, and number okay. Number four would be Shada. Number five is Sean, and number six is Maria. Oh, snap! Wow, that was a plot twist. How the, um, the PhD lady is all the way down to the least. But then, wait, hold on. They all have more than 100 um, score, above 100 score, which is still pretty, that's pretty high for an IQ test. But that was such a plot twist for for her to be like you would think she was smart because she has phd and you know do all of these amazing things and in going to like very high rank school but <laughs> she ends up being at the last <laughs> i don't know if, he, if he's making that face for a reason or not remember is you remember that meme like i don't know years ago of that gymnast the i'm not impressed face I think an IQ test tests something. I don't think it's intelligence. It's definitely testing something. IQ tests are now known to be flawed and like based on incorrect sample sizes. I have really severe dyslexia. There's. I think she also has uh, this um, advantage being dyslexic and then having to take the tests without any accommodations. But I think that's just how it has to be. I don't know. I guess just the way of being fair to everybody is that nobody gets accommodations. But it's still interesting that even though she didn't get any accommodations for her being dyslexic and being on the aut autism spectrum, that she still ranked pretty high in that IQ test. There's two questions on that test that I automatically basically can't answer. I'm sure if you studied for an IQ test, you would do a lot better. Yeah, I yeah IQ test is just almost like practice. Like the more you take it, the more you kind of get an idea of or a hang of what it is and you know you take them in high schools and you just especially for I I took a lot of them in high school too it's just eventually you get the hang of what it, they're all about. IQ tests are just one aspect or one way to measure intelligence it's really on a spectrum what constitutes somebody as intelligent. Before this all I knew about IQ tests is that they existed and the I stands for intelligence but I've never looked Okay. IQ test before coming here today them saying the EQ that was the first time I've ever heard that term in my life coming back to intelligence it's not just your IQ it's your EQ it's your common sense it's street smarts sure it is some type of metric similar to an SAT and ACT score is a metric for getting into college but there's more to that person than that test I'm she's oh she had a rude awakening after that I'm excited Ooh. I wasn't last because I thought I was going to be last, not going to lie. I think an IQ test is a good indicator to see how people handle pressure. But I think that's easier to make sense in our heads that, oh, you're smart and you're not smart. Definitely don't think. Yeah, that's true. It is a way to measure. But Sean is pretty articulate about the things that he's saying. So it's the best metric. I've been exposed to tests like these probably more than most people here, that already gives me an unfair advantage. This is my villain redemption arc and climbing <laughs> up the ladder. <laughs> His redemption back up the ladder. Yes. 
Oh, that was a good one. My ranking was way off, though. Yeah, way off. But I guess that just goes to show you can't really... It's just hard. All of this is basically just first impression and based on like what you put importance with education you know going to college or something else like street smarts and the other stuff all right that was a good video from jubilee actually pretty nice group of people and if you enjoyed this video give me a like subscribe and if you want to see other videos let me know and i'll see you next time bye